really? got the same oh, issue that Callan had hair, hair transplant too. So he's got a scar back there as well. It's, 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 it's I getting know so that. light. Oh, he probably didn't tell the world. I just fucking <laughs> ratted it no, out. No, he's talked about it before. No, he has. I know. I would never say it if he did. No. I'll tell you who has the best. <laughs> you know who has the best fucking hair piece is uh, Pivot. That shit, I had no idea. Do you know he used to play George Costanza on Seinfeld because he had the same fucking bird's nest thing? Well, he had a bunch of surgeries, I think. Oh, no, that thing is dead meat up there, bro. <laughs> that thing is fucking, that thing is sewn into a skull. I had no idea. How dare you? <laughs> this is live. Oh, what? People are listening? I'm yeah. just saying. He has yeah. fucking. He's got great No, hair. I'm saying good for him. Good. good fake good hair. Yes, yeah, so there's no problem. You know, it's no issues. I'll probably do the same shit. Yeah. Yeah. Thank anyway. God it's not the 80s, though, because in the 80s, man, if you had long hair and you were losing your hair, it was basically a death sentence. Like, I you lost wait. your. I had, knew some, I had a right, singer. No in one my could band. have a shaved head back then. What, what, Rob what Halford was do? the only guy. We allowed him right. to shave his head because he could sing so great. We just said, okay. Well, he was also we allow dressing really weird, you know, with his fucking biker leather shit. Well, Rob, oh, like this. he dressed like uh, people in the gay community yeah. dress. Came out with the leather and the motorcycles and all yeah. that shit. Fashion and all the forward. kids, all the kids thought that was heavy metal. So I, I wore all that shit. And I always thought in the back of my head, I, th I thought it was weird that gay people wear the same shit metal dudes do. <laughs> I thought that was weird. I go, it must yeah. be a coincidence. Dude, we've <laughs> talked about that on the podcast before, that Rob Halford conned a whole group of people into dressing gay. How about how about um, Freddie Mercury was telling yeah. everybody he was super gay, he was not trying to hide it from anybody, but I thought, oh, he's just a rock star. His style was dope. It, yeah. The band's yeah. name was Queen, but right. no one thought he was gay. Who just would, thought, oh, are you he's sure? A rock star. No one thought he was gay. Uh, probably, you know, some people, but the I masses. I everybody didn't, knew. Not the masses. It took a while. No, yeah, if you, no. if you watch the movie, like the yeah. documentary, yeah, yeah, everyone was like, "What?" Yeah. I'm like, it, uh, but now yeah. we look back, and I'm like, "Are you like, fucking joking?" He was me? telling everybody. Yeah. Well, How about Elton John? Well, forget all of them. Liberace's the craziest one. <laughs> exactly. Dude, Liberace. They were far. like, they were like, well, Liberace. When are you gonna find a nice woman and settle down? Well, I keep looking. I can't find one. <laughs> well, you know what? I don't know. I don't know. I think Freddie Mercury's a little. A little crazier than no uh, Liberace, bro. The name of his band was Queen. It's true. It's the true. name but of his band was Queen. He yeah. He's a rock star. He's a rock star. Liberace yeah. played a piano and came out in a fucking gold Royals Royce yeah. and had fucking pigeons coming out of his asshole. And we're like, yeah. no, he's you know normal. What? Yeah. Did we talk about this before? Girls why? Why there's I such a disproportionate him. amount of gay singers? No. Why? Because who's dude? If, who's running the music business? A lot of gay dudes. And who's gonna? Wait who's, a minute. Is that true? I don't know anything about that. It's true. It's no big deal. Gay guys but, are running but, the music business. Did you know uh, that, Brandon? Oh, I didn't know that. Is you that, didn't know that? I had no, no idea. I and know who's who's jack who's down to, who's down to suck business. dick. L.A. Reads. Who's not. down to suck dick? Oh, is that what quicker it is? than a gay singer? Wait a minute. So you think the reason why there's so many gay singers is they're the ones who suck the dicks to make it to the top because there's guys who That's are, just the theory. Isn't it possible That's just that the just... Theory. Hold on. But let me offer there's you... There's a disproportionate let me offer amount you, of gay singers. Let me offer you an think alternative explanation. Think about that. There's way more straight than gay. Here's the... Hold on. Here's the alternative explanation. Gay people uh, feel maligned. They feel like they're left out. They are sad because of this. They live hard lives. They maintain all of this emotion inside of them, and they want to express it some way. And so they figure out a way to sing and to entertain. And goddamn it, that's Jamie that just shows shit me right a picture. There, bro. Of you know, you Liberace. look at that. Behind the Candelabra Ooh. is the best movie ever. <laughs> that's what I think. I think you know they're bullied and you know they're depressed and the the people that are the most like pushed out in society those are the ones who become comedians those are the ones who become singers those are the ones they, they become actors even because they, they write need, the best shit there they ain't need that many, something yeah. to, that to many get out an outlet gay comedians there ain't that many You'd oh be there's surprised. a gang of them no there's a gang of them there's a couple no there's a gang of them there's okay. a lot I know I, I know quite a few I, I'd say there's more gay actors than yeah. there are singers no singers bro singers name, name some few singers the we biggest ones are gay four or five well, we that are dead. Two, three. From AIDS. Rob Halford still kicking. Liberace died of everything. Dude, he had, he had the full cocktail everything. running around inside of him. Just everything. Yeah, he had that dick implant. Fucked that, all the dudes. Joey Diaz used to have a fucking bit, and we played a little bit of it one time on the podcast, but it's not the best version of it. Of Beyond the Candelabra, the fucking HBO movie with Matt Damon. I love and that Kirk movie. And, and Michael Douglas, dude. That jo do you remember Joey Diaz's bit? Yeah, I saw oh. it in, in uh, San Jose. I'd that was probably it. one of the best sets I've I've ever seen him do. 
uh, in San Jose, he had that whole bit down. San Jose Improv? Yeah. yeah. Joey was yeah. a he crushed it. monster. Yeah. Well, he's still a monster. But I mean, that bit was just so funny. It was such a fun. 